Hi! Hello! <laughs> it's me, Susan V. Anthony. I am just like you. I'm trapped in quarantine in New York City. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know how I'm gonna spend it. In this bathroom. In this bathroom, doing this, this drinking, and living! Living! I can live from this room. I can live from this room. Susan B. isn't afraid to live! I'm terrified of dying, though. So I'm staying inside, of course. The thing I want people to know about this virus, and I want women especially to hear me on this, it's man-made, okay? Which means a man made it. And, and don't correct me if I'm wrong. Man made it. But who's going to stop it? Woman. What are we doing as women right now? We're staying home and we're cooking and we're cleaning. I've cooked a few meals here and there and it's calmed me down, okay? It's been nice. People are making bread, that's fun. And when you see it, it's an accomplishment. It's nice. And then everybody eats it and it brings people together and that's lovely. That's lovely, okay? But, but the point is, the point is, my point, my main point is, Who's gonna clean that up? Quarantine? Anyone? <laughs> That's a joke I've made every day since this started and no one's tired of it. Honestly, everybody in the house has come up to me and said, Susan, you're a riot. Even more so than you were before. <laughs> People don't know this about me, but I was funny. I made, I laughed with the best of them and I made the best of them laugh with me. People say women aren't funny. People didn't say that anymore after me. It's not a, it's a non-issue. I really like the flowiness of this dress. And that's a lot for me, you know, because as a woman, you don't always feel pretty. Although, I was watching a tutorial. People were giving tips and tricks and trades on how to be beautiful. And I thought, what if Susan B had one? Susan B had her own video talk chat. And on it, she tells you how to do a cute little work bun to get to work because we need to get to work but we also need views and advertisers i don't know if you're reading the articles but advertisement is down the tubes and i want to help work bun with a feminist angle full-on feminist but you know i make profit this time this time susan b's coming for a profit what I really want people to know is I am still here and I will speak for you. I will, I will be heard roaring, I will be not silenced, and I will talk about women and how they are doing great. And I will do it all from my YouTube page. I'm going to be honest when I say that mm, there's some ugly girls out there. Not that it matters. So I got this dress pre-sleeves rolled up because that's how I like to start working. With a good sleeve roll up. I'm gonna be honest, I've I've drank a lot. More than I should. But that's not what's gonna stop me from drinking more. It's not. And it shouldn't stop you. And that's what women need to hear right now. That's the message. That's the message. That's the message. Is this scaring anyone? Is this scaring anyone? That the woman who, who did sign the civil rights amendment thing, petition, you know, I've done things. Look me up. I think I'm scaring myself. What you know, I like to do something funny when I scare myself. I like to scare someone else too. And how I do that is as I choose my husband because nothing scares him more than me living a day in his pants. Okay. I put his pa a pair of his pants on. Just one leg at a time. Then I walk around like him, you know. But he doesn't laugh, which is what was my my initial goal was to make him laugh. 
you know, your wife in the pens, but apparently all my activism and my gay rumors made him, it made, it made him uncomfortable is what it did. It made him uncomfortable and it made him think I was crazy.